have to ask, tomorrow is the paper. We don't have another grace of one day more. So the set will always be represented by capital letter. A capital letter is used to represent set or to denote set. This is a set A. The set A contains A, B, C, D. Now take a good note of this. These are the notations. I'm explaining them right now. These brackets, these brackets, we call it only brackets. We call these brackets curly brackets. It is not just an ordinary parenthesis. It is a curly bracket. Some people call it a brace. You can call it that too. Brace. Brace. This is shame. So, A here is the set. This A is the set. It is always represented as capital letter. Everyone, now, the small letter. Small letter A, small letter B, small letter C, small letter D. And the things in this A, guys. Inside this A are known as the elements. Please, everyone, notice very well. It's very important. They are known as the elements. Hello, Merit, Merit, please. King like, Smith, please remove Merit. King Smith, remove Merit, please. If King Smith can't do that. Prodigy is not here for now. He has some things to do. And you should have, seriously, you should have made you guys the host too. Okay. They should just remove the person. She's disturbing my brain, so. Why? 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 They are known as the elements. So we can call them the elements of set A. And the elements of set A. So this is the set A, and these are the elements. So I cannot write set A as small letter. No. Small letter will never be used to represent the set. That's the first logic. So capital letter A. That means, let me say my A is the mathematical set. Then the elements inside the mathematical set are A, B, C, D. So the elements inside the mathematical set can be ruler, protractor, divider, the set square, 45, meter, uh, 45 degrees, 60 degrees set square. That's what we mean by the elements. So now, A is an element of capital letter A, right? This small letter A is an element of set A. B is an element of set A. C is an element of set A. D is also an element of set A. Guys, take your pen, writing materials. Please bring out your writing materials. It's very important. You have to. You surely do. So, and you will be taking this and uh, an interactive man. You surely need it. So, please bring it out. So, write it. Instead of writing A is an element of set A, writing B is an element of set A. Writing C is an element of set A. What do they use? We just use the symbol, guys. The symbol is now that A is an element of set B. You see this thing? It's not E. Please, guys. It is not E. Look at the way I'm writing it. A is an element of set A. It is a Greek alphabet. It is a Greek alphabet. We call it epsilon. Epsilon. It's a Greek alphabet. So now, this means A, this A is inside the bracket. So it is an element of set A. A is an element of A. This B also is an element of A. C is an element of A. Let me get it as C is an element of A, which is set. And B is an element of A, guys. I've given up. Hello? 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 Hello?
Thanks, Ali, please, can you mute everybody? Maybe when you meet everybody, you see your heart. No, it's only the person that created the link that can mute everybody. Wait, let me log out now and call Progi. Oh, that is Ali. The program, we can't even interrupt him. Like, okay, I think she has she, she hasn't used it too. Which kind of person is person? We just have to be there. I think she has stopped for now. Let's take it as an opportunity. So, we're saying that these things are elements of A. So, note them. We have started working. This might be one of our questions. These are the things to have. Unfortunately, I don't know. I wanted to actually fix the whole of the course material. I don't know. My sister started acting words. So now, I, I have it this way. We've explained. So now, guys, if I have set B to contain Kogi, Lokoja, Badagri, so we can say Badagri. Badagri is an element of set B. So I can say my B is a place in Nigeria, set of Nigeria. So I will now say Badagri is a place inside Nigeria. Someone is in. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. You're... What do you have to say, Mr. Isu? Please, the, this time I'm not seeing it very well. Please. You can see it now. What is your side? No, no, no. It's not like this. Just let the camera shoot back so you can see all what you're reading. No, it's where, it's where I'm talking about that you will take it to now. It's trying to let everything show. So anywhere I get... No, you write. Right. This one is not sharp now. Now you guys will be telling me I'm not saying what. Um, okay then, um, I'm going to continue this with you. How many days will assist my material is up? Please, at okay. is, as it is before, it's that, better. That's what I know. That's why I show you. I am that I will take it. You won't take it beyond where I am. Yes, yeah, so okay. Please. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Equals two. At this set three. Equals two. Four, six, eight, ten. And S from A, B, C, D, D, N. So, surely we can say that two, two guys, we can say that element of B, we can say that A is an element of S. We can say that 4 is an element of B. We can say that B is an element of S. But guys, can we say 8 is an element of S? Can we say 8 is an element of S? No. 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 So, we will say 8. So, if I now want to say 8, 8 is not an element of S, how do I write it down? That's what I'm drawing out from here. Write, you know, if I want to write is equal to 4x equals to 2, I'm coming. 4x equals to 3. If I want to say 4x is not equal to 3, and it's not equal to 3, I'm going to slash it like this. So that means it is not equal to 3. So that same thing is working here for us. So, it is not an element of set S. Guys, is this gotten? It is not an element of set S. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, well, it's not an element of set S. Note the, the slash well. So F also, this F here, is an element of set S, and it is not an element of set B. So F is not an element of set B. Note that too, guys. So, Mr. Sambo, what do you have to ask? Or Mrs. Anyone? Example. 
Okay, we, we are going to go. Yeah, let it see, let it see. Yeah, yeah, let's hear it. Thank you, Salah. Good evening. Please, I want to know uh, the first uh, set that the P that has the numbers. Okay, there's no okay. There's no alphabet in there. I've been it. Sorry, I've gotten it. Thank you. Okay. So you should also note something. The other okay. element is not. I am ready. Okay, okay. Mrs. I am ready or Mr. What do you have to say? Okay. Hello, okay. okay. I cannot see the screen. What do you have to ask? Ten percent. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, I will try to do something. Yes, I cannot see the screen. Okay. What is this? So, they are saying that who is this person now? Ah, this one is going to waste our time. I don't know. Huh? She's really not making it. Like, oh, really? Who is this merit? I'm already. Guys. Huh. Sambo, Sambo, what is that? What are you up to ask? Oh, bring down this one. So, we can see the set of letters in willingness. Willingness. Guys, we are taking it from side, from side. So, definitely, all these are what is inside set. We'll cover the whole of it by God's grace. Let us get it the time. We have willingness here, guys. So, we are not asked to. Get a set for the letters in willingness. So I'm going to create my set and say, let me see my set X. Set X equal to W, B, comma. They are always separated by the comma. I, comma, L, comma. Somebody is expecting me to write another L. There is nothing like that. There is no limitation of element inside a set. So find the entire element. Here, especially for how many times it occurs. It is still the element. So W I L. So I'm going to leave that L. I'm not writing the second L. And I already have I here, so I'm not rewriting the I. I'm going to N. I'm writing G. I'm not going to write the G. Merit. What are you calling now? Who are you? Da, Mary, it's off your microphone, I beg. Let's see how it Oh, God. So, please, we'll just be able to like. Sorry, so, sorry, it, please. Let me say something. Okay. Can we create a new link and leave Mary with this link? Uh-uh. <laughs> now she be our God. Don't we have anyone that have a contact to call, please? We'll create a new link and then we'll leave marriage with the link. Yeah, together. <laughs> please, um, um, so, um, Ali, Ali, let me make a suggestion, please. Let me let me create a new link now and I'll drop the link in the group so that everybody will join back, okay? Those that are not in the group here now. Then we'll continue where we stop. And I'll share it to all the groups. I'll share it to all the groups that we have joined. Yeah, look, it's, not it's not necessary now. It's not necessary. Let's just continue like this. It's not necessary. Let's just leave it. Oh, that continue, continue, please. It's okay. It's okay. Please. 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 She's inside the Okay, guys, I think I can feel the now. She don't know. Uh, okay, then. Hey, she's inside the group. Join again. We are moving to the next thing, guys. After I think this finish, we said X equals. So we are asked to form a set with the number of the with the elements inside this. With the letters of this word. So we have W. I is here. L, we have W. So, but we cannot write the two L's. We only. We have I also. 
Those who don't join me, this will already have one eye here. This is N, write it there. G, take it there. N is the next thing, guys. So we already have N before, just forget. The next thing should be E, then. After the E, take S. This is a set containing the words, the words of this, the alphabet of this word. Bobo, Abi Bobo, Bobo, sorry. What do you have to say? Sir, I can't see the screen. I don't understand. Though. Some people are seeing the screen. You guys should take note of your places. The screen is very I think it's very clear. Or something. My, I can't it. see. Very clear. It's Maybe she just connect, 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 and connect again. Disconnect and connect yeah. again. Go out of the platform. Wait now. If everybody is talking, it's not wise. Eh? If everybody is talking, it's not wise. I know what she's struggling with. There are a lot of uh, icons that shows different users. Scroll up and look for the user that is talking, and double tap on his own listing. The screen will pop up on your phone. Okay, guys, we have what we call the cardinal number. The cardinal number. We are already moving, though. So we have what we call the cardinal number. What we say the cardinal number of the set? What do we mean by that? What we mean by that is just that the number of elements inside that set. Number of elements inside that set. This is set A. It consists of A, B, C, D, E, and F. These are the elements inside this A. Then we can say that the cardinal number of set A is number of set A. Look at the way it is written. N, open bracket, A. So cardinal number of set A is, let's just count the element. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. That's just it. I'm very sure everyone has gotten that. We said if this is C containing a set, okay, if the state in Nigeria is a state, set, state in Nigeria. State in Nigeria is a state. This is set. Now start listing the state. Uh, state and capital. Abia is that wrong? Oh. I don't know that. Abia, you should have Umaya. 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 We have three dots, one, two, three. So these three dots means I'm jumping some things. So if I'm not writing anything behind it, definitely it means it is infinity. We'll explain that too. But here now, I'm jumping some things. Abia, Umaya, till the last state, maybe Zam, 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 FCT Abuja. FCT Abuja, okay, FCT. Yeah, Federal Capital Territory or something. So, State in Nigeria is the state set, and it consists of all these things. They start from Abia and in FCT. So what would I want to say? The cardinal number of the state in Nigeria, NS, for instance, equals to, we are going to count what, how many elements are inside that set. Counting the elements, that would be state, 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 in addition to the FCT. That would be 37. So that is the cardinal number. 32. Uh -huh. 36, sorry, 36. Mary, mute your mic. If you want to say anything, type it, please. Please. 36 plus FCT now, it becomes 37, Abby. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't go private to my side. So 37. <laughs> so that is the cardinal number of the store. So please, guys, do you understand it? Any question on that? We are moving to another thing. Ali, please, can you just rephrase a little bit? My network kind of. Sorry, please. Uh -huh. It's Thank you. So let me just refresh because I'll take that again. I said we're talking about the cardinal number. What we'll say the cardinal number of a set? This is a set A. It consists of its element A, B, C, D, E, F. Irrespective of how many elements it is. So the cardinal number means the number of elements inside that set. This is M A, which means the cardinal number of A. Cardinal number of A is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to have 6 
as the cardinal number of A. You are a smart man. I suppose you've understood me. Me, you sure. So we have six as the cardinal number of A. That is what we are trying to get. Your network, your, I think is your network is actually break. Me? <laughs> not, not myself. No, not please, myself. please. You may check your network. Network is network is fine. It's not my network. You don't know where I am. I'm at FCT. Yeah, besides, besides my... Are you are <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the next thing, guys. All right. The ways we used to represent a set, I think this is also in our material. The ways that we used to represent a set, we have three ways. I don't know if there's anyone here that can tell me one or two or, or the three of them. The ways of representing sets, like set rotation. Is there no? Okay. Destiny, come on. Okay, Mary, Mary J. Mary J. Have the E plus it. That's um. Sorry, union. We have um union of a set. That's U. Thank you very much. These are all the things. And then we have the intersection. That's A. Thank you. Now, thank you very much. But oh, you are wrong. So we are going to learn those things here. You will know the differences between them before you enter your exam today. Don't worry. So, Miss Miss Dorothy. Set rotation, the three ways we can use to represent a set. They we usually come out. Disjoint. Eh? We have the disjoint. Not disjoint. All those ones are types of sets. Not disjoint. Another person, the ways we use to represent a set. Disjoint. The complement of a set. Um, no. What do you call it? A is it um, is it is a set such that A is a set of numbers such that X is blah blah blah. Like A equals what, what is that? What is that method called? What do you say? What is that method called? What is it called? Set it's notation. Called set. A. I said we have to set. So the first one is A. Where is A? Ah, mute your mind, please. Grouping method. We also call it the tabular method of representing sets. We will understand what I mean now. The next one is just that they are doing all this celeb celebration inside our material, so we have to do it too. The next thing is the description method. Description method. And the last one is set user method or form. Okay. The grouping or tabular form. So that one is just the normal way set comes. The normal way set comes. They will tell you that set A equals to A, B, C, D, E, F. This set is in a tabular form, right? You see that you are not interpreting anything. It comes straight, means it is in a tabular form. Another set is set of States, okay. A set of states in Nigeria, starting from Arabia, Umaya. So going to that FCT, you know they listed everything. They named the set. They said the name of the set, set is state in Nigeria, and they named its element straight. We don't have to do any work before getting there. So that means they are in the tabular form or in the grouped form. I think it is grouped. So just mind the tabular form. That's the most important. Uh, so, so just know that it is the tabular form. And we have the elements. So in the tabular form of representing the set, we have the elements and the name of the set being intact. You are not getting them from anything. Look at how, like, how clear it is. Look at how clear it is. They gave you the set and they gave you its element. As simple as that. The others are not like that. So now, look at me, guys. Look at the description method. I've explained the tabular method now. Any question on that? Ms. Dorothy, if you are not saying anything, just remove your hand. Ms. Dorothy. Okay, Mr. Sambu, any question? 
Nediti, okay. Gabriel, is that a child? Any question? Okay, yes. So if you have to describe it exactly, if you have to describe it, how do you put it into words? Uh, so that's, that's the description method. That's the next one we are doing. But for now, have you understood tabula method? That's what I'm saying. Yes, I want to see tabula method. Yes, yes. So, Don't worry, we are doing the method next. Don't worry. I only want to see if people have understood this one first. Right. Mr. 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 Listen or Mrs. Okay, I just I want to ask a question. I just want to ask a question. Can we use uh, another word for that tabular form, like a uh, word form? To... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it is group form or grouping form. It's either of the two. Okay. So, but inside the material, it is very sure that they use tabular form. Okay. Okay, Mrs. Sambo or Mr. Tai, you're just raising your hand and moving it. I don't know if you want to say something. Mrs. Sambo. In, in that material, they also use a listening aside the tabular form. They wrote use listening. Listing. Form. listing. Uh, okay. listening form. So, guys, we should note that too. Please, please, I, can, please I, cannot see, I cannot see the screen. No. I'm just hearing you. I cannot see the screen, please. What it's can I watch like that? It's okay. your phone, madam. Everyone is called. Okay. It's your phone, please. And your network. So, sorry, sir, before you continue, I've been raising my hand since. What I wanted to ask me, these elements, are they, can they also be called members? They are members, members of the same. Yes. But uh, the group like will not call them members. It will, under no, under no circumstance, come in members. They call them elements in sets. Note that. Don't write your own in members, like members. If it is like, fill the gap. Don't write members for them. It is always elements. We all know that the meaning is member, member of the set, but they are elements. Do you understand? Okay. Yes. Sorry, sorry, sir. Sorry, um, Ali. Good evening. Yeah. Okay, quick one, please. Hello. Um, okay. Sorry, can I continue? Please. My question is uh, the group method and the description method, are they the same? I raise up your hand before saying something. Raise up your hand before saying something. Someone was asking a question, interrupted. Hey. Okay, lady. Listening method, grouping method, and tabular method, they are the same. And here is the example. Okay. Okay, listening. Okay, sorry, sorry. It's just complete now. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at it. They've listed everything and they've grouped it as simple as anything. They group this, they group this. It's in a tabular form. That's what they call it. That's all. That's all. Oh, I'm sorry, okay, I've been, I, I, I was one trying to ask question before she came in, actually. Okay, so right. I just want to confirm something. You know, the example you gave here concerning this um, set, this grouping stuff, you know, it's like um, a straightforward um, numbers. For example, now A, B, C, D, they are accordingly. They are according. Okay. And that one that is one, two, three, four, of course, according. But what's with, what we, what Oh, let me ask this way. Is it possible if we see something like um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on, no, even numbers, or we see something like odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, and so on, are they also term as a um, um, grouping? A bit Look at my word. I've carried you, Richard. A, B, 4, E, D, 7. It doesn't mean anything. All these things are members of this set, and it is in the tabular form. So, do you understand your question? So it doesn't mean anything. Anything. It has very how they are arranged. Okay. Just Sorry. Just I've, been, I've been raising my hand. Please, can anybody that have a question write it down so we can move ahead? Over. Because the questions no, we have to close down. We have a lot to cover. Like they should be writing their questions no, out. No, 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 no. Please, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, Ms. Mary Jane, I think you, what you said is right. Let's, guys, let's be doing that. Oh, yes, you, you will not. Moreover, don't ask me a question when I'm still explaining. I will ask, do you have any question when I'm done with that subtopic? Please, oh, yes, we will not reach anywhere, Edjo. Mr. Ridwan, this will be the last question for now. 
and you guys should be writing your questions out. If you see that it hasn't been attended to, then you can just speak out. Yeah. Good evening, good evening, Mr. Lewardon. So I want to ask, what are the difference between uh, set A and set X? Set A and set X. The difference between them is the name of their sets and perhaps the elements they contain. That's all. So the difference between them is going to be showing according to the way they give them to you. Forget about the name, right? So I'm just using set A. I can okay. So yeah, it is now set X. Do you understand now? So there is actually no difference between them if they have no difference. But if they have difference, then there is a difference between them. The difference depends on their elements. What do they contain? That's all. Okay, thank you. Yeah. We will surely get there if you guys will give us the space. So now, um, we're taking something like convert. Okay, we only described the description of the group method. Now, look at the description method. This is a set B. They now want to give us a description method. They will now describe it. They will say set B or B. Description method, they will describe it. B is a set containing the national numbers less than eight. Do you see this is a set? They will give you this thing as a set. You will be the one to interpret it. You will turn it to a tabular form. The set B is a set containing the national numbers less than eight. You just write B is a set containing national numbers less than eight. National number starts from one. National number means all positive positive numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They said less than eight. You see that this is given in a descriptive method. I'm the one deriving the tabular method from it. I'm the one listing them out. This is what we mean by descriptive method. I suppose you guys have understood that. I will take an example here. The descriptive method. This is written in the descriptive method. I'm not seeing the wrong one. Because it took so hard to see. This is very important. Oh, I'm not seeing anyone. But again, I can use this one as an example. That set Q is containing all old numbers. All old numbers. This is a set given to us. But we only described it. Mute your mic, Mr. Justin. Mute your mic. They are giving us this thing. It is actually being described. We are the one that's going to get the list um, to the list out. To write it in the tabular form. We said set Q. So now write your Q. It's containing all whole numbers. And start writing your whole numbers. Whole numbers start from zero. Zero, one, two, three, four. So we definitely can take it to the core. So just let me use three dots. So we are doing different, we are learning different things together like that. So three dots means infinity. Till infinity. So zero, one, two, three, four, till infinity, because I can't finish counting it. So we call this a type of set, which we are going to get to by God's grace tonight, this night. So this is descriptive method. This is the descriptive form. So that's it. The last one will be the set builder form. That one is required somehow to explain, to understand. I hope you guys understand it as easily. Now, yeah, um, this is a set A equals A, B, C. Let me use one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Now, they will give us this set in a set builder form. Is O a whole number? Yes, a O is a whole number. Zero is a whole number. Zero is a whole number. Zero is a whole number. So the whole numbers, okay, let me quickly cover it after this one. The whole numbers start from zero. The natural number starts from one. They are all positive numbers. So one, two, three, four, five. Is this one in tabular form? It says you that form. A is going to be X 
Next is value. Such that Build your mind, Mr. Ganadima. Mr. Ganadima here. So X such that that or such as this means such as this column here. It means such as we can also write it as a bar like this. Note that very well. X such as X is less than six. Have it. So an X is an element of natural number. This is self builder for. I'm going to explain what I did now. You should. This the man writing is too big. You are not covering it. Okay. I only want them to see. So what I'm doing here is that X is less than six. Do we all know that? Yeah? Is there anyone that doesn't agree with me? Just let me see your hand. If you do not agree that X is less than six, if X is one, one is less than six. X is two. X is one is less than. Three is less than six. If x is three, then three is less than six. If x is four, then four is less than six. If x is five, five is less than six. But if I say x is less than six, I'm stopping set. It's not possible. Definitely, I might even put zero because you said it is less than six, Abi. So zero two is less than six. Minus one is less than six. Minus two is less than six, and I will be writing everything. But once you gave the condition that x is an element of the natural number. What are the natural numbers? The positive numbers, starting from one to infinity. So definitely what I'm going to work with will start from one, continue to three, four, five, since it is less than six, so it will be five. So, and the other way to write it is A equals X in such a way that X is less than or equal to 5, where x is an element of natural number. What do we mean by x is less than or equal to 5? It is less than 5, 1. It is less than 5, 2. It is less than 5, 3. It is less than 5, 4. It is less than or equal to 5. So it is equal to 5. That's 5 itself. That's what we mean by less than or equal to 5. A question on this first. Maybe there are still some people that don't understand or that haven't understood it. So I'll just explain more with some examples. Just raise your hand. I will know. Maybe you have understood or not. Okay. 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 So I'm taking one more example to explain it. I'm taking one more example to explain it. That. This one is that a hair right is said. It writes the set yielder form in roster form. Uh, I think that's another name they call that roster form. We also call the listing form the roster form. We call it the grouping form or the group form, the roster form, or the listing form, as you said. So they said, write the set yielder form in roster form. They gave us a set yielder form. E equals x, such as x. <coughs> is equal to 2n. And n is an element of natural number. And n is less than or equal to 4. Oh, sure. I hope some people understand fast, fast. Too. Guys, this is it. They said, X, since you already see something like this, that is, it might even not be as complex as this, hopefully. That what we only need to see in the exam will just be like, They'll just say, is this one the set the other form? Maybe they'll just write it. So far, you've seen this x first. They might even use another element, but x is that what they use most times. You write x, and you'll put it such as, it is either written in colon or such as like this. So, so far, you've seen something like this. Just believe it is in set the other form. Has everyone gotten that? Those of you that are still using your please remove it. Just believe it is in set builders for Miss Juliet. Just sir. believe it is okay. Sir, please, I have a question. Sorry. So, my question, I understood what you explained, but I want to know, you know, we have to write it the way they expect us to. Like, what do you think? That other one you cleaned, which of the two methods, which of the two, um, should I say, equations, do you think we should write if it comes as the exam? Is there one I cleaned? The do you understand? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, that one depends. It depends on how their question comes. You take a good look at how their own is coming. 
Are they using this stroke or they are using that colon? So far, in their material, they are using that pipe, that pipe uh, symbol. Yeah. This by this bar, using this um, bar cover. Yes. Okay, so let's take this one. We are going to get it nice. They said X equals to 2N. This one is given a set builder form. They are the one that's going to build the set by ourselves. So they said S equals to N. Where N is an element of what's this capital letter N? Anyone to tell me that? The capital letter N this thing is not showing. Natural number. Thank you, Mommy. So natural number. And now the small letter n that they said x is equal to two times it is less than or equal to four. Now when they say x is n is less than or equal to four, and n is an element of natural number. Natural number starts from one. So n when n equals to one, when n equals one, then x will be two times one. So the first element of this set is going to be two times one. <coughs> When n equals to two, when n equals to two, because we have n is less than four or equal to four. So when n is less than four, that is less than is equal to two for here. So now we are going to say x equals to two times n, which is equal to two. Two times two, that is four. The next element is four. When n is less than four, as in the case of n equals three. They're going to have n equals 3. So x will be 2 times n, which is 3. That is 6. The next element is 6. And when equals n equals 4, get it? It said n is less than or equal to 4. We use n, n less than 4. Now n equals 4, get it? That's 2 times 4. That is 8. So 8, that's all. That is all. We are going to stop our set today. So this same thing, this thing that is given in set builders form has been written now back in the tabular form. If you haven't understood, just sing, signify by raising your hand. Just raise your hand. Just raise your hand. If you haven't understood, raise your hand. I'll wait again. I'll wait again. She doesn't have anything to say. Show me. What do you have to say, please? I mean, sign life. Sign life. Yes, thank you. I the process is confusing. Going from descriptive, I understood the descriptive part form of uh, the set, but from set builder to tabular form is confusing. Okay, 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 okay. No problem. No problem. I think that's all. That's what all of them are raising their hands for. No problem. Mute your mind, please. The game, guys. The game. I'm thinking about two examples that are working because of that. A equals X such that this is the first one, first example, this is the second example. First example is X D equals to X such that X equals to 2N. N is an element of, I've already told us what this is. It is an element of, it is a Greek alphabet, epsilon. So, I think it's Epsilon. So, now, N is an element of natural number, and N is less than or equal to 4. That's the first thing. The second one is X. X such that X is a factor of 12. X is a factor of. Right? Because they are already described as a factor of 12. But let me convince you. That because of this such as and the bracket, the crazy bracket given, sorry, the curly bracket, the curly bracket given, you should have known that it is a set builder, it is a set builder's form. So now I'm going to take the first one, Soluki, sorry, solution. X in such a way that X equals to 2N. And N is an element of natural number. Natural number starts from 1 to infinity, all the positive numbers. 12, 4, 7, 0, 1,000. So 5 does not have negative sign. This is a natural number, excluding 0. And n is less than or equal to 4. When n is less than 4, so it will have the first value of 1. When n equals to 1, this is the equation. My d equals x equals to 2n. That is 2 times 1. 
equals two. So the first element of this set is two. The next one is when n equals to two. To be n is less than or equal to four. So when n equals to two. So that's two times two. You change it to two. Two times two gives four. So the next element is four. N is less than or equal to four. So we can still have n is less than four as three. So when n equals three, two times three, this is where we got an equation from. Two times three. That is six, which is the next element of this set. The next one is n equals four itself. They said n is less than or equal to four. They did not say n is less than four. They said less than four or equal to four. So when n equals four, then it will be two times four. That is eight. So the next element will be eight, and we are solving here. Because there is already a boundary, less than or equal to four. So, my brother, this is it here. Yeah. We've changed this thing to the, the, the tabular form. And for the second one, they said A is the set in such a way that X, A equals to X in such a way that X is a factor of 12. What you need to know is that what are the factors of 12? Just know that A equals to, we are factors of 12, that is. Put them in the first factor of 12. What you multiply by another thing to give us 12? Three, two. One, one. One. So when you multiply one by 12, when we multiply one by 12, we give you 12. That is another factor of 12. So, two, two, three. Two, two, three. Two, two, three. Two, two, three. Three. So, another one, guys. Four. 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 Another one. Six. 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 What do you mean by something to you? Twelve. 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 Okay, um, now I want to understand what you've done so far because the n is less than or equal to 4. So you take um, the numbers before 4 from 1 because they are positive numbers. Uh, yes. Okay, you, you take the numbers before 4 from 1 to 4, right? Yes. yes. And then multiply it by 2, that is uh, x is equal to 2. Yeah, two n. Yeah. Okay. So that is that has ticked. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank that. I can see you understood it. That's good to see. That's good to hear. Yeah. So that that that's my that. We are on that now and we are done with it. Going to the types of sets. This is what real work is coming in the small school. This is where it becomes technical. Hey. Mr. Sam. Wait down, please mute your mic back. It's the sound of the What do you multiply? What do you multiply twelve with to give you twelve? <laughs> twelve times one. Go. Oh, okay. If that is the case, that means um one is there, one is there. Yeah, factors, of there. Uh, factors of twelve, which we include one two. Okay. It is one two three times four. Three times four. Yes, we give you, okay, four times three. So it goes back and forth. Does it go back and forth like? Uh, yes, now that's why we can write two. We can still write six. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Mr. Samo, don't let me cut that thing. Mr. Samo, you know something? We'll move, but I can't be explaining things that people will not understand. I'm even happy that I'm seeing people that are understanding it. And I'm very sure there are some people even understanding it. So I can't just move that way. Don't worry, if it's about the time, I'm, I'm quite ready to leave my time because of it. We won't stop until we finish it. It's fine, Jerry. Thank you for the question. Thank you for asking the question. Mr. Samuel. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. OK, the next thing is the types of self guys. We have to prepare ourselves mentally for this. Mentally, very After types of self, they are actually big work. So types of self itself is big work. Okay. 
You guys, you guys should remove your hands, please. You can write them down. Jeff is there for you. So in case it involves my attention too, we'll do it together. So you guys can write anything you have, please. That's why we're working together. So we have here that the types of set, guys. The types of set involves so many, so many, so many types. Or set involves so many types, and so many types. So but starting from this, I have infinite set. Everyone knows the meaning now. Infinite set. It implies its meaning. What does it imply? It has infinity elements. <laughs> Don't mute your mic. Infinite set has infinity elements. That is, its elements cannot be counted. Uncountable elements. Now, an example of infinite set from my own end is even numbers. Let's say A is a set of even numbers. Now, let me be counting even numbers. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and a half. I'm using three dots. The three dots means infinity. It is an infinite set. It is an infinite set. You know, guys, if you don't understand, you can raise your hand, you can write it out, or you can even use a reaction. Use a reaction. A reaction button. Or emoji, rather. A reaction emoji. So if you don't understand it, let us know. So we said, if A is a set of even numbers, then writing even numbers now, I have to stop somewhere now. Eh? One million is an even number. One million and two is an even number. One trillion is an even number. One trillion and two. One trillion and ninety-eight. One trillion now there are ninety-eight. One trillion now there are ninety-eight million. Now there are ninety-eight thousand. Now there are ninety-eight. Is an even number. How to write this set? No, I don't understand you. What I write this set, okay. Yes. I'm coming, let me read the Ah, we can't go back to anything now. Please, nobody should draw me back. Please. Let's note that very well. The same, people are just living, like, living, coming in. I want to check what the last message now. I really have concern for the, the message. Hey, can you use the there? Sorry, class. Sorry, everyone. Ah. Another question. Please, maybe later I'll check it. What is it? What is it? So A equals 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. You know it is uncountable. So that means the set containing even numbers, that set is an infinite set. So now, if it is set B containing odd numbers, starting from 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and that. Use three dots, infinity. So it is an infinite set. An infinite set, in definition then, an infinite set is a set that has infinity elements. That has elements that cannot be counted. That has elements that cannot be counted. So any question from anyone on infinite set? Any question, guys? <sighs> In what form did I write my... No, please my continue. Name? It's clear. No question. Yeah. I wrote my infinite set now. I wrote my infinite set in tabular form. So your infinite set might be reading this way. You write set C is such that X is a prime number. We all know that prime numbers, you start counting them, excluding one. You start from two. Two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three. So can't start counting prime numbers like that too. We can't stop anywhere. This is given in a set builder form because of the such as. So look at the last one. The set set D contains set D contains multiples of two. Multiples of two means anything you can multiply two by to get. Absolutely, they mean even number. We can never count them. Finish. So this one is given, or these two. They are given in the tabular form. This one is given in the set builder form, and this one is given in the descriptive form. I think I've done my job. 
Okay, that has infinite set. It consists of infinite elements. What do we use to represent them at the back? Three dots. Yes. The next set I'll be explaining now is finite set. A finite set is a set that, that consists of bounded or finite elements. Let's say the set of the factors of 12. Factors of 12. We just say written in the description method. Set C is the factors or contains the factors of 12. This is described. It is written in the descriptive method. So now I'm going to use the set builder's form and say set C equals X such that X is a factor of 12. Then we are going to write the factors of 12 out. This is bounded, and now write it in original way, in tabular form. C equals factors of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. Look at how it is, guys. Absolutely. This is finite, because it is stopping here. We cannot have another thing beyond 12. That means it is a finite set. I don't understand. So, you know something? Those of us that are raising our hand, please, let's take that in off. Remove that your raising hand emoji first. Let's start from a fresh, new leaf. They are not hearing. Like, that's the issue. And our kids. I won't know if anyone is even serious with himself, like, he has a question now. How we know? Those that are even raising their hands, they are not removing it. There's issue. Okay, that's this as for this. Guys, any question on this? Write it out, please. Or you just show with a reaction. Any question? If you have any question, show with an unfavorable reaction. Like, I mean an emoji. Okay, okay. That means there's, there's no good. This one, this one is not an unfavorable emoji. I need an emoji that's crying. Sad emoji. I love emoji. Okay, okay, okay. All right, definitely people are going to do this. Thinking about it, guys. Like, I think it's good. Mr. Sign Life, I think it's Sign Life. Because of you, I will come again. I will come again. Uh, thank you, thank you. It's Mr. So this... okay. Oh, thank you. Don't worry, don't worry. I, I know it is. I, I didn't mean any other thing. Is it that Mr. or Mrs.? I'm not bothered by that. So don't worry. Set C is, or set C contains factors of 12. Is an example of finite set. A finite set means a set that has finite elements. When we say finite, they are elements that can be counted, countable elements. Now, the set contains factors of 12. You should know that the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. What you can multiply by another, another number to give you 12 is a factor of 12. When you multiply 1 by 12, it gives you 12. So 1 is a factor of 12. 12 is a factor of 12. When you multiply 2 by 6, it gives you 12. Both of them are factors of 12. When you multiply 3 by 4 to give you 12, then the both of them two are factors of 12. So now, this is written in the descriptive method if you were in the class before. So now, this one now is written to the set builder's method because I've always been using this method. I'm very used to the X in such as, such as. So let's guess to the uh, used to what the cost material means. Let's be using this plan. X such as X is a factor of 12. Factor of 12. This is written in the set builder's form. And this is written in the ordinary formula. That's a certain example of set. Certain type of set. And have unit set. Or single agent. Or single chain. I don't know what the pronounce that thing as. A unit set means a set that has just one element. A unit set, unit set, means a set that has just an element. What do we mean by just an element? A set of God. Okay, I don't know who are here. Maybe that's why you would believe in multiple gods. Okay, the set of the set of the president of Nigeria. Set A. It contains the president of Nigeria. Guys, we all know. So that set A is a unit set. 
because it has just one element. Please show me the reaction if you understand this. Nobody. Okay. I said. All right. All right. I'm saying. Uh, I'm, I'm saying. I said, set, a unit set is a set that contains, when they say unit set, when we say something is unit in physics, we just mean it is one. So a unit set consists of just an element. This is set A. Set A equal to A. So it consists of just an element. The unit set has its cardinal number as one, guys. It has its cardinal number as one. Cardinal number equal to one. That is a unit set. This thing is not showing. Cardinal, we're not going to show that. That's why you need to do something. Just add a lock. So, N, A, number of elements in A equals to 1. So, 5 is 1, then A is a unit set. I think that is clear now. That's clear. I will have more here as. Okay, even numbers less than five. Even numbers less than five. This is the intersection. Even numbers less than five. That should be two and four. Okay. Even numbers less than. Hmm? Even numbers less than three. So that is also a unit set. Even numbers less than three. That's just two, right? So that means it is also a unit set. So another type of set I'll be taking here is also arrange them in the arrange them inside. Joint or overlapping set. Joint set. system. Joint set. When we say joint set, we are talking about comparability between two sets now. We will take a particular set and take another set. We now work with both of them. So joint set means sets that have Elements in common. Elements in common. This is set A. I already talked about it. We have more than one set in joint sets. So element A, set A rather, consists of one, two, three, four, five. And set B consists of two, four, five, two, six, eight, nine, seven. So far, we can find an element inside A and still find it inside B. What is that element? Two is common in A and B. So, so far that happens. Then we can say A and B are joint sets. Joint sets. That means there is an interaction between them. There is an intersection between them. Guys, do you understand that? Yes. No, I know. But how do you put yes, yes, yes. like more in the same thing? No. What is it? Okay, they haven't understood this one. Again, guys. Again. Now, if you go out of this room that I'm, I'm staying in now, inside this room, we are just males. Yeah. I'll say inside this room, inside this our room, we have male, we have the table. I think you should understand better than him. We have the table, we have the shelf, we have the books. Yeah. So now, going to another room here, in this our uh, place, going to another room, this is room one. Going to another room, let's write it as room two. We have females, we have shelf there too, we have bed. Guys, I believe you should understand it this way. You can see that there is shelf inside our room. And if we go to the other room too, there is shelf. That means the both of the rooms are joined because they have one thing or more in common. It's not a must, it is one thing. It might even be more than one thing. So because they have one or more thing in common, so joint sets will have more one or more elements in common. So the question is asking is that how can we write the answer in a written form, like in a descriptive method? That's the question top I did not hear anybody's question before. I'm only explaining. I didn't hear any question. What's the question? I'm only trying to explain. 
I wasn't in really charge of the question. I was just continuing. I have the question. So what? Let me see. Papa was asking that how can we write this joint set, and that is also a question I have. How can we write this joint set in a descriptive method? Is it possible? I also have a question. No, no, look at it. It's in a descriptive uh, method now. It depends on the question. You answer for the question they will ask you during the exam. This one, I don't think they will ask you to write in a descriptive method. For instance, sorry, 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 please. I think what he's trying to ask is that let's say we have filling the gap. How can we how can we write the final answer? Thank you so much. The last speaker, thank you so much. I, I, I will just give more of case studies. So, so that we complement it better. better. More of case you studies so that we can help the understanding of the home. We don't have time. Maybe you don't know. In the description method, you say sex one. Huh. Let me answer one question first. Please don't interrupt me anyhow. Making me feel the bank. Let us answer one question first now. So room one, want to answer, I want to write this thing in the descriptive method. So room one consists of males, table, shelf, and room two consists of female, shelf, bed. So in the descriptive method now, we say room one and room two consists of shelf together. That's all. You're asking a strange question, and this is what you get as your answer. Because I've never seen where I wrote two sets together and tell you that you are going to write the descriptive method of these two sets like this. No. Sorry, it's sir. Just this. I'm writing the whole set like this, the descriptive form of this set. Now, we are talking about joint sets. Is that the descriptive form of two sets? Sorry, please. Can we say I something? Joint sets are. Oh, God. Please, for instance, now, do you have a. Um, and Please, my question uh, is that can we also regard a joint set as the intersection set? As the intersection set, you can, can, but it is there for them. It is always known as joint set. I want to ask the yeah. symbol, please. How do you denote the symbol okay. of, a, of a joint set? We are not denoting any symbol now. Just note that we have not gotten the. We are not denoting any symbol. We have no no jo no symbol for now. There is one thing we call intersection of sets. Intersection between two sets. That's not what we're doing. Just know that these two sets are joined. That is the rule. What I'm trying to get out from this place is that set one and set two they are joint sets. Why? Because they have one or two things in common. When intersection comes in, that's where we are using symbols. We are writing the things that they Ali. are. Ali. Ali. Yeah. 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 Um, excuse me, I think I understand that particular question she's asking. So to 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 make a clear statement about it, nobody will ask you, um, describe, uh, maybe describe in a fundamental way a joint set. They will just say set A is a, um, set A is a group of female students that their names start with F. Then set B is a group of male students that their names start with F too. Now the only thing they can ask you is is set A and set B a joint set? Joints. It's true that I, I might not. I might not. I, let me not use. Let me not use the words that are in the course material. Let's say. Let's take it now that set A is a fundamental set and set B is a fundamental set. But a joint set now is not a fundamental set. Nobody will ask you describe a joint set or something like that. What they will just ask you is: Is set A and set B a joint set? The only thing about joint sets is that there is something similar in set A that is in set B. So there's no question that will ask you, okay, um, denote a joint set or maybe write a joint set. They're not going to tell you write a joint set. They'll just tell you this is set A or maybe write set A and write set B. They'll now ask you, are they joint sets? That kind of thing. So the joint sets are not fundamental sets. They are just a set that denotes what is in set A and what is in set B. Hello, can you people draw these ones later, please? Let the guy teach. He's a human being. He's standing. Yeah, I should stop interrupting him now. What's all this? Thank you for understanding, bro. 
The guy is standing, and you people are just doing all these things. Ask the question later. Let's move forward. You do it. You do it. You stand. Write your questions down in your paper after the lecture. You ask our questions, please. You are sitting down. You are lying down. Somebody is standing for hours, and you people are bringing lectures and teaching inside somebody's teaching. Teach later now. Uh uh. This joint says, guys. It's not that he's breaking lecture now, he's trying to explain better so that people can understand what he's doing. I don't really have time for that, please. Let's go. This joint said, don't do. Ah. We have explained the joint set. I use this room I have here right now to explain. So, going to this joint set, this joint set are two different sets that have nothing in common. This is a set A. Contains A, B, C, D. And this is set B. It contains A, D, E, C. Are they joint or not? That depends on the parameters, the elements they have in there. This one has A, this one too has A. This one has D, this one too has D. They are even having more than one similar thing. So definitely they are joint elements. They have one or more elements similar. So now, if this one is now A, B, C, D, and the other set B is E, F, G, H, we can see they have nothing in common. Then set A and set B are disjoint sets. They are disjoint sets. They are disjoint, that's what we mean by that. So again, set A is A, B, C, D. Set B is E, F, G, H. There is nothing common in the both of them. That means they are disjoint sets. You know something? Believe that the person that has explained this thing is not I don't know what I'm explaining. We are going to get to that thing you are thinking about now. Maybe you are thinking about intersection, something like that. The intersection is not joint set. Do you understand me? It's not joint set. This is just a situation that is this first set joint with the second set? Yes or no? They are asking you what is intersection. No, intersection involves what are the elements inside there. When we say A intersection B, we are already talking about something else. It is different from joint. They are joint or not? They are, or they are not joint. Just calm down. Anything we mention is what we are doing. I haven't mentioned it. That means we haven't got it there. Okay. So this is this joint. These sets now are these joint sets because they have nothing in common. So these are examples of this joint set. Okay, Kelvin. Um, so how, how do you express it? How do you express it? Okay, Since the they expression are set. Yeah. yeah, they will ask you that. Is set A and set B joint or disjoint? No, set A and B are disjoint. That's the expression. You are not using any mathematical method to exp express this one. As you are seeing a set that is containing the even numbers, set A or set E, containing the even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, they will ask you that what type of set is this? You say it is an infinite set. So they will ask you that what type of set are these two sets, two sets together? You say they are these joint sets. Is there any code you are using to express the even set? No. So there is no code for this one too. We are mentioning types of sets. I am not using formula. Types of sets. Thank you. Okay then. I should take another one. Equivalent sets. Equivalent sets. Equivalent sets. Here we have we are already using um we are already doing compar comparison between two or more sets now. So equivalent sets means two sets that have the same cardinal number. That's all. List of one, three, five, seven, eight. And this is set P, consists of A, B, C, D. The cardinal number of set A. Set Q rather, N Q is what, guys? Cardinal number of set Q is what? Five. 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 
Yeah. And the cardinal number of set B is number of B equals to 4. So, now, look at me. I'm going to make this one 5. I'm adding E to it. So, the cardinal number of set Q is 5. The cardinal number of set B2 is 5. That means the both of them are Set B and set Q are equivalent sets. Why? Because they have the same number of elements. It's blessing. Or this is blessing. Thank you. Blessing. Thank you for everything. Please, can you just repeat a little bit? I didn't understand it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Please mute your mic. Yeah, we said equivalent sets are two sets. Equivalent sets are two or more sets, so it might even be more. So two or more sets that then have the same cardinal number. number. I don't uh, understand what going... you mean by cardinal number of that five. I'm sorry, I'm not going back to that. Uh, is the number of elements... And don't interrupt with that, please. You can write it out, please. I'm not going back to that, please. So, the number of elements in this place, with that, we'll never get anywhere. We'll never get to anywhere. So, the number of elements in this queue is the same as the number of elements in P. Right? Even though they are different things. This one is E, this one is eight, this one is, eight, this one is seven. So, there are different things. It doesn't mean. But, so far, the number of elements in Q are the same as the number of elements in P. Definitely, they are equivalent sets. Equivalent sets. Because they have the same number of cardinal, they have the same cardinal number. Is there any question? Huh, God. Okay, again. We said equivalent sets. Let's be looking at the implication of these things. What do they even mean? Equivalent, when we say something is equivalent, that means that in one, one sense or another, equal. So the sense at which they are equal, or in which they are equal now, is that they have the same number of elements. We are three in this room now. In the other room too, there are three. Now we can say these two rooms are equivalent. Why? Because they have the same number of people. So... A set Q will always be equivalent to set P when they have the same number of elements. Set P, sign, sign, I've forgotten his name, sign something. You said you have lost. Please listen. Set Q. Okay. Set Q is 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. So it gives five elements. Set P2 gives five elements. So since they both have five, five elements inside them, they are equivalent sets. So that is the definition of equivalent set. Sets, two sets or more, are said to be equivalent if they have the same cardinal number. After that, we have equal sets. Equal sets. So this is set P. It is A, B, C, D. This is set Q. It is A, B, C, D. Guys, are they equal or not? Is there anyone that doesn't agree with their equality? They are equal. Uh, are uh, equal. Can you see equal. the sharp difference between equivalence and equality? Don't mistake them. Don't go and take this for this. Don't mistake. There is a sharp difference between them. These equal sets have exactly the same Equal sets have exactly the same elements inside them. Equal sets have exactly the same elements inside them. That's all. P, so, equal sets, we we'll just say, when set P is equal to set Q, we we'll just say P equals Q. Because they are equal sets. But for equivalent sets, NP will be equal to NQ. That's cardinal number of Q equals to cardinal number of P. But for equal sets, it's P exactly that will be equal to Q. Now you'll be given something like this. I think I saw something in the course materials. You said a set that's let's say set A equals to R S T. And set B equals to R T S. 
Now, are they equal or not? Are they equal sets or not? Is there another answer that? Just answer. They are equal sets. They are, they are, they are. They are. Irrespective of how they are being arranged, irrespective of how they are being arranged, they are still equal. Because you have R, S, T, R, T, S. So now, another thing I should suggest, I've never said something like this though, I believe I should be strongly right. This is four. This is two squared. This is, okay, this is four. This is eight. This is nine. And I have another set as two squared, eight, and three squared. Are they equal sets or not? They are equal. Yeah. yeah. They are equal. They are equal. They are equal. So thank you for understanding. That's equal set. Please note the difference between an equal set and an equivalent set, or equal sets and equivalent sets. Equal sets have exactly the same elements, while equivalent sets have the same number of elements. They might not be the same element, but they are the same number of elements. Okay, that, that as for that, we should have a few more types of sets. Okay, let's just change that subset. subset. Yeah. Right to the last. Maybe two more times now. The subset. Subset. Guys. This one. <laughs> Seriously. So the subset. Yeah, I'm talking about subset, guys. That means we all know, like, let us be, before I start explaining. Thank God we are all grown-ups. We should at least know the meaning of words like this. When we say something is so, let me give you the definition for it. When we say something is super, you know it has more than original, supernatural. Superman is a man that has supernatural power. He's not like other man, men. So it's super. That's what I mean by super. And so means something that is lower. Tabular form of equivalent set. Huh. I don't Equivalent set as A, B, C, D. Another P is another set B, C, D, A, B. They are equivalent sets. What is the tabular form to write together? If you want to say I represent them with symbol, I write A equal to P. Equal sets. If it is equivalent set, you might even have different elements. Right, let me change this one to two. Number 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So N, A equal to N, P for equivalent sets. You should even be sorry to take me back. Let me give a sketch. Okay, okay subset. So, I have two types, two sets rather, to the vault. We have a set that is the sub, and we have a set that is the super. We have a set that is the sub, and we have a set that is the super. This is a set Z, containing 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. That's a set Z. So, G, sorry, Y. Set Y, containing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine. Guys, look at the both of them very well. You are going to note that set Z, all what is inside set Z, all everything inside set, set Z is present inside set Y. One is inside set Z. Two is inside set Z, inside set Y. Three there, three here. Five there, five here. Six there, six here. So that means this one is a super form of set Z, Abby. This set Y, you know, what you understand. So, so this set Y is a super form of set Z because it contains more than Z contains. Superman now, it has what all what other men have, other men have. It now has another thing in addition to. So this one has all what set Z has. It now has other things in addition. It is super over it. So we say Z is sub to it and Y is super over it. 
which till you see the other side. Z is one, two, three, four, five, six. And Y is one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. We can see that one, two, three, five, six is present in Y. So Z is a subset. Time is going, this circular. Remain small. I already promised to do this. See, if you want to, if you are really tired, you can you can just opt out. Or have those that are still there. Follow my thoughts. So Z is a subset of Y. Z is a subset of Y. Set contains over 50% of the material. Even if it's only set, people understood very well. And you can show yourself in about 35% in the exam. Is that all? Sorry, I'm coming, guys. I don't know what's your problem. So, this is it. Z is a subset. It is represented as one C that looks like a Z, Z is a subset of Y. Z is a subset of Y. This is the symbol. Z is a subset of Y. Because all what is inside Z is present in Y. Y now has more in it. So Y is super set of Z. Y is super for Z. Y Z is sub for Y. So I'm now write Y is a super set of Z. And Z is a subset of Y. Look at it very well. Look at it very well. Z is a subset of Y. And Y is a super set of Z. This is Timothy. I'll be Mr. Timothy. Yes, sir. I just want to ask a question. On the Y, what of those who are not um, inclusive on the Z, what are they called? It's those things that makes Y superior over Z. We are not concerned about them. They are not called anything. They are not, they are, people are not concentrating on them. We do not concentrate on them. There is no way, there is no name given to them. Trust me. Do you get it? Yeah, I understand, sir. I understand. Right on. Any other question, please? Me, okay, Jeff. So the reason why I would not say that Y is a subset of Z is because Y has more elements that, that Z does not have. That's why it's superior. Exactly. That's why. Thank you. Exactly. That's it. So that's why it is superior. It is super over Z. And since Y is super over Z, then Z should be sub to Y now. So that's okay, sorry, it. Sorry, sorry to ask, uh, does it matter what element is being contained? I mean, the content of the set in comparison to the two? It doesn't matter. But so far, they are containing this one. The first one has the things that are inside the second one together. So for them, it might, it might even be alphabet. It might be mathematical set. It might be a ruler, anything like that. So it, it doesn't depend on what is inside this thing. No, that, we are not bothered about that. If you are not asked to look at your question now, are we supposed to write it if you are not asked to? <laughs> okay, you are not supposed to write it if you are not asked to. <laughs> your question is really important. You are not supposed to write it if you are not asked to. You only write it when you are asked to write it. So guys, I'm just trying to imply that if Z is a subset of Y, definitely Y is a superset of Z. This is the symbol for subset, and this is the symbol for superset. Don't she be? So, so if you can ask a question. Please do. Okay, what if, for example, now that um, um, Z now is having one number left, like after that six, there's like seven, and Y to now, there's another number like seven. Is there something possible like that? Y is already having seven. Now like, look at Z. I'm going to add seven, seven to Z. Uh -huh. Let's now say, okay, um, um, Y does not have... Um, uh, since Y does not have the seven, that means Y does not contain all the elements inside Z. So you now say Z is not a subset of Y, and Y is not a superset of Z. Okay, Some people. 
Okay, okay, sorry, oh, sorry. I think it's what is that like um that said you have seven left there, and then why also is having um maybe eight left? Muhammad Ali. I don't know if you got me. Man. I haven't got you well, but if if I'm let me, let me try, maybe I got you. Maybe you are saying you are trying to say that this one contains con con seven, and this one is having eight. Which which this one does not contain? Then our it's loss only. Is, is still an element. Is still a subset of Y. Oh, okay. C, please don't make a mistake. C is a subset of Y, but Y is an element of C. Note what I wrote now. Now. There are two different things. An element of is different from a subset of. It is said to set that will always be that will always be subset or superset. Element will always be an element of. Mister, someone call me my name now. Someone. Now. Now. Yeah. You call you call the in the subset. After Adenike asks you a question, and then you cause the so in the C, the middle yeah. of the Z and Y, why do you cause it? Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Hope you understood the first thing we did, right? That we, we, the way we didn't cross it. So now. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. It's still under the everything like this is inside the inside the material. We are not actually doing something that's wasting time. We are still studying. Everything is under it. So I'm happy to know that. So now, what she's asking is that I'm changing the element of this thing now. Six, eight, nine. So, so I have these things present inside this thing. So I have seven remaining. That seven is present in C, but not present in Y. That makes it impossible for Y to contain all the elements that are in C. So I'll say since Y does not contain all the elements that are in C, Z, then it is not so far over Z. Z as it two, Y2 as it two. You say, I have my own thing that you don't have. You me to you, you have one thing I don't have. So nobody is over one body. Nobody is over anybody. You are on your own, I am on my own. So Z is not a subset. They don't go for each other. And Y is not a superset. But once once is inside seven, is inside what is inside Z, is inside Y, y completely. Definitely. Why will be like, ah, I contain everything in you, I am super to you, then it is super. But so far it remains one or two things. Definitely it is not super to you. They are both on their own. Z is not the subset of Y, and Y is not a superset of Z. Okay, thank you so much. Thank sir. you very much, sir. Does that, does yes, that therefore now mean that this particular two sets now fall under the previous types of, any of the previous types of sets that you explained before? It's possible, it's very possible that it's more than any other sense. So, 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 from, so, from this now, which one do you suggest it may fall under? Many, many of them, many of them. Number one, the both of them are finite states. That's the first thing I notice. Number two, both of them are joint sets. They are joints because they are common. Number three, I can see that. The, okay, I think that those are the two, two deductions I can make. Those are the two deductions myself I can make. I don't know for you. Sorry, you said the both of them are joint sets and the both of them are one? They are joint, and the, this one is finite, right? And this one too is finite. What we mean by finite is that we are not using infinity sign after yes, the last Yes, yes, uh, They are bounded. Yes, and then they are joint. Okay. Yeah. So because I am seeing that. A, a question like this can be said. The, a two sets can be given like this, and we'll be asked to mention what types of sets can you deduct from this set now. From, from the. It's possible, Sha. It's possible. I just hope it's not possible. I just think it's not possible. It's not Maybe possible, Sha. Yeah. It's not possible. I'm not talking about. <laughs> so, because it's now, it's now. It's now. And it's CBT. It. Okay, that's that's about some subset. And I'm not to explain it, but it's not in our scheme. So just let's forget about it for now. You know what would have made it very hard for us is having Venn diagram. Have a who do TDB till they break on it. But thank God we don't have Venn Euler diagram yet. 
So just okay, is there someone having a question? I want to look at the next software. I want to look for the next software. Okay, I just want to ask you a quick question. So what if in this um Y set and we have like one, two, three, four, two, seven and um in in um is, okay, for example, we have on Z set we have one, two, three to seven or to six. Then in um Y set we are just having like one set that has the same resolution. What what can we do on such game? One set that has one set that has what in Y. Like, why? What do you say, why? Uh, Muhammad Ali. No. If I should get that man right, it's okay. like, so, so, what he's saying so is that the field we have in C, we, we don't have it in Y. Maybe he's lost somehow. You just call him back. What do you have to have is why? Yes. Uh, that means they are not subset. No, yes, no, 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 like what I mean is this uh, if we have one, two, three to four, and we just have a number that is the same with the one we have in Y, just one of it. Okay, okay. Uh, just one of it. It is not a subset of it now. Because they uh, just have one similar. You can just say they are joint sets because they have one or two pieces similar. They are joint sets. That's all. Okay, okay. Can we continue, please? I think so. Please, okay. I want to know the word. Set. They are all subsets of this set. 